Hello, Ronald. Hello, Lou. <laughs> Hello, Lou. Hello, America. <laughs> How's your butt? Seems okay. Seems okay to me, too. I can check it out a little later if you want. I'd love that. Okay. Can we set a time? I'm good right now. Uh, on today. <laughs> I got on, some spare time right now. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen on this episode. On today's show, everything, yes, everything you ever wanted to know about butt acne. Next on Men Are So Smart. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. We'll call this The Butt Show. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel for more of this hilarity. Yep. And when you do, click the bell. That way you'll get notifications each and every time a new show comes out. Glad to have you. Yeah. Thankfully, talking about our acne is no longer taboo. Most of us are comfortable complaining to our coworkers and anyone else in line for coffee about our chin zits. <laughs> chin zits. <laughs> yeah. um, soliciting any advice on how to make them go away a little faster Yet nobody wants to bring up, yes, I'm about to say it, but acne. Yeah, that's, no, really nobody wants to talk about that. I don't think. There's a nickname for it, Ronnie. Yeah, what is it? Buttony. <laughs> you don't want to talk about buttony when you're waking for your latte. Did we go to high school with a guy last name Yes, buttony? I think it was. <laughs> Phil. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's because butt breakouts can be embarrassing since they tend to come in the form of a rash-like bumpy patches that seem impossible to get rid of. Of course. No matter how many OTCs, uh, you know, over-the-counter yeah. medicines, acne scrubs and exfoliators you stock in your shower. Ronnie, I've never exfoliated my buttocks. I, I have never exfoliated anything. Oh, okay. I have exfoliated my face. But yeah, not my butt. No. Uh, to find out the common causes of irritating and sometimes painful butt pimples, God, I love to say butt, <laughs> and how to ward against them, we spoke to a doctor to get the lowdown on what's going on back there. <laughs> and so here is your how-to guide to deal with butt, butt acne. Oh, butt acne. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, you're a butt All expert. Right. Give us number one. So some people might ask, how do I get it? Ronnie. Yes. How do I get butt acne? I'm glad you asked. Thank you. <laughs> uh, spots on the butt area may be quite common and usually caused by a skin condition known as <laughs> folliciitis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. For the future, let's just call it buttony. <laughs> it occurs due to an irritation, infection by anterior... Uh, bacteria, yeast, or fungus, or a blockage of hair follicles. Ingrown hair. And looks like red, bumpy rash on the skin. Apparently, it occurs equally in men and women, so that's nice to know. Yeah, it's and not it's, just us. Yeah, and it's not just limited to your butt either. Oh. Anywhere with hair follicles is at risk of developing this buttony. butt buttony. Yeah. Uh, it's more embarrassing to discuss it when it's on your butt. Well, not when it's on your butt, but when yeah. it's on my butt, it's difficult to discuss. Yeah, how do you hold the mirror to so, pop the... So, Ronnie, you're probably saying to yourself, Lou, why is this happening on my butt and not on my face? That's exactly what I was saying. Oh, good. Okay, well, I said it for you. Uh, the skin is the same on both parts of the body. Did you know that? Did not know that. Yeah, that's why people get called butt face. <laughs> Pause for laughter. Why don't I have to shave it as often? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's a picture I didn't need. The main difference is that the bottom is typically hairier. <laughs> That's not true. I don't think so. I don't have any hair on my butt. I got it on my face. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could have it move. <laughs> because you sit on your butt, the hair follicles can easily get inflamed and infected. Uh-huh. If you're working out regularly, synthetic leggings may be your problem. That's my problem. Not mine. <laughs> because they trap your warm sweat, irritate your hair follicles, and can use cause butt pimples to form. So, when exercising, it's important to wear workout leggings made of moisture-wicking, breathable fiber. And that's the thought I want to leave you with on this paragraph. Moisture-wicking? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh... 
Some people might ask, how can I stop myself from getting butt acne? Hey, Ronnie, how can I stop myself from getting butt acne? It's amazing you should ask because I have the answer right here. That's a coincidence. Ensure you shower straight or as soon after exercise as heat, sweat, and synthetic clothing can contribute to flare-ups. So if you got a you, you got a wet butt, you got to shower that thing up. <laughs> Tell them, I'm telling you. Uh, avoid sharing towels or other personal care items and do not shave over the bumps. Oh. As this can cause further irritation. I I've, I've never have shaved my butt. So I don't think I've I'm noticed. Gonna, I noticed. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a problem I'm having in the future. Uh, the doctor also recommends keeping any body oils away from your butt as they can trap bacteria in the follicles and worsen the issue. If it's itchiness that's bothering your butt, try a warm compress. It'll help with the itching and draw out any pus in the pimples. Hmm. I'm glad you could be with us for that sentence. <laughs> I love the word pus. Topical acne treatments, like those containing benzoyl peroxide, yep. can help reduce inflammation, says a doctor. For severe cases, dermatologists use oral medications, including courses of antibiotics or isotretinoin. Uh, the good news is that folliculitis may get better on its own without treatment. If it persists for more than a few weeks and isn't responding to over-the-counter medication, medications, then go to your doctor. A medical professional will be able to work out what type of folliculitis you're dealing with and the exact treatment that you need. And though... Uh, it may be tempting. Don't use a harsh scrub or try to exfoliate the bumps away because it'll actually make the irritation worse and probably cause some unpleasant stinging on your butt cheeks. Who needs that? <laughs> yeah, I got enough of that already. Uh, exfoliation is a bad idea. Uh, if the skin is already irritated and you're irritating it further, you can actually make it worse. Uh, duh. And so here's the, here's the one word or two words that I've taken from this whole article right here, Ronnie. Yes. Bottom line, <laughs> be nice to your butt. Yeah. You know what? Take it out once in a while. Yeah. Show it off a little. I, I think if people aired it out a little bit more, there'd be less butt acne. Air out your butt. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Put your butt out there for all the world Just to whip see. Whip it out. We do it every week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I am so happy. That you were here with us today oh, for this butt acne episode. Highly, highly topical. It, it truly is. Yeah. And uh, what we want to do is bring you cutting edge information before you can find it anywhere else. That's our job. And if we've done that in bringing you the butt acne episode today, <laughs> then you know what? I think we can test, take the rest of the day off, Ron. Well, and we routinely make asses out of ourselves, and so <laughs> this was... Perfect. This is right in our wheelhouse. I just exfoliate. That's all. <laughs> that's the difference between us. Don't exfoliate. Oh, that's right. Oh, Don't. Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah. I should have listened to what you were saying. You can continue to do your face. Though. Okay, yes. thank you. I will. All right. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Yes. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you'll get uh, notifications every time a new episode comes out. And if you've had butt acne, share it in the comments. Yes. I don't know anybody that's talked about it, and so... <laughs> We, we'd love to ridicule you as you comment about it. We'll be glad to do that. <laughs> Feel free to talk to us about your buttony. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And this has been another episode of Men Are So Smart. We will see you next time. <laughs>